as long as you're listening and clearly caring about that person, that's like 99% of the battle. I think the ministry of Jesus was largely Jesus connecting with people in ways that nobody else expected or saw coming. Um, and I think that God can work through anything. So I don't see why video games and any game and any Monica wouldn't be one of those ways. Letting the uh, student or the person who knows about the games be the expert on the games at every moment is important. Um, I think the same thing in counseling, uh, one of the quotes that I always tried to remember is, uh, you know, you can be the expert on how to help, but let them be the expert on them or let them be the expert on their problem. You can be the expert on some of their solutions, that kind of a thing. Um, so I think it's important to come at it with an air of um, compassion and curiosity to say like, you know, hey, I care about you and I'm curious about this, you know, like, tell me about it. And if, especially if someone's like, really excited about the games they're playing or addicted to them, they're going to talk to you about it. They're not going to be like, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about Apex Legends. I don't know, anything, whatever. It's, that's not for you to know. They'll be, if you act really interested, they're going to be like, yeah, no, we'll talk about it. Um, so, you know, they can teach you all about what it is they're doing and why they're excited about it. Um, and then in doing so, you're building rapport at the same time in most cases, because you're talking to them about what they want to talk about. And if you're being a good listener and making sure they understand that you are listening, even if that's just asking questions like, wait, you know, what is that? Like, what's, what's a KS? Like, what's a headshot? Like, what are these? What's a noob? Like any, any terminology you can ask and they'll tell you. And usually it is amazing how much people don't notice when you get something wrong, like a, like a feeling they're having, or if you don't know anything about what they're talking about, as long as you stay curious and listening, people will forgive almost anything. Um, you can, in counseling, a lot of times they say like, you know, try to reflect their feeling and be like, so you felt angry or like, did you feel angry? You can just tell them how they feel. They're like, so you feel angry. And they're like, no, I was kind of sad. Blah, blah. And then they'll go on. You'll be like, so you're feeling sad. They'll be like, no, I was actually angry. And like, they'll, they'll go back and forth and it doesn't, but they never, no client has ever in my experience with my own clients or anyone else I've heard of has ever been like, they got my feeling wrong. And I don't think they're a good counselor. They don't even notice people just brush right by it and they'll go. I think the biggest pitfall is the same one that is probably harming the church more than anything else. And that is judgment. I think that, you know, judgment is the Lord's and not ours. And we, and it's, it's easy and it's sometimes a good way to connect with people in a unhealthy way to judge others together. Um, it's very easy to, to bond with people that way, but it's not good. Um, and I think that a lot of people, a lot of full sale students specifically, and a lot of people who would identify as gamers feel judged by the community of most of the world who doesn't identify as gamers, just off the bat. So seeing that, and especially by people who they may have seen, you know, in their church growing up, um, because I think it's very easy uh, to judge what a generation younger than you is doing as bad, especially when a lot of that is violent, right? Like a lot of games are violent to varying degrees. And if you don't actually see the game in action, a lot of games may seem more violent than they are. Like, you know, when eight and 10 year olds are talking about like, oh yeah, I got killed 12 times yesterday. And people are like, that can't be healthy. And it's like, you know, well, you're, you're a cube. Like it's, <laughs> it's not very realistic. Um, and, and it's not meeting what you think. So I, I think it's easy to judge what we're ignorant of too. Um, and all of that is, something that we need to get as far away from, I think, as we possibly can, because I think that's what people's hackles are already up about. Um, if a student is going to tell me something they don't like about the church, which every once in a while people will volunteer, um, it's going to be that they feel judged by it. And that's usually the same thing that they're saying about any, any part of what they see as, you know, people who don't understand them doing that same thing. So I think getting to the other aspect of like, hey, I'm not judging you for this. I'm accepting you. Um, and I'm accepting, you know, I'm accepting your gaming. Like, I'm, it's not, that's not my concern first and foremost. And it's not a, hopefully it's not a concern at all, but definitely that the concern is the person and not what that person is doing. Mm. Definitely not passing judgment on what that person is doing. Mm. 